to 55%. Now what I'm going to do is arrange it behind the frame that I've created on page the way I want it. Seems like a, a reasonable solution. So I'll just leave it there. I'm going to click off the box. So now I have one image and a black page. Next thing I want to import in is text. So I'm going to hit the text tool. And I'm going to draw a text box. So it's a holder for text onto the page and drop it. And as soon as I do that, you see that you've got a flashing cursor and you've got some more options open in paragraph, things like paragraph styles, character styles, I'll return to later, but you've also got options for font, font sizes, etc, etc. I'm not going to do any of that just now, I'm just going to place some text on it, the same way that I placed an image. So I'm going to go to File, Place, and I'm going to look for my doc. InDesign will import any text files from Microsoft Word or TFT, Dart, any text documents really at all. So once I select the article I want, hit open, and I've got text. Now I'm going to use the magnification tool, it's called the zoom tool at the bottom, and just show you what appears. The bottom of the page you'll see that you've got a plus. What this means is there's more text in that box than can fit in the, the proportions of the box. You will have to a lot of the time zoom in and zoom out. On Mac, you zoom in by clicking and then if you want to zoom out, you use the option key and you get a little minus appears when you zoom back out. The other better way to do this is to commit command zero, which is the same on PC as view fit in window. Along here you will see a fast key, probably control zero or window zero and it will bring it fit to page which is really helpful. Okay so I'm going to go back to the indirect selection tool, that's the content tool I call it. Um, I'm just going to click in this box and what we want to do is we want to make this into a two column um, so I need to select the top tool, select the text box and as soon as you do that you see that you can scroll down. So it's the top tool, select the text box and scroll down and you'll see a thing that says text frame, little stripes hovering down. I'm going to make them two. As soon as I do that I get a two column in my text. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I've got one page with one image and, another, and two columns of text.